Hi and welcome to another Honest video and today I'm going to talk about using an epilator for hair removal. Now if you've not heard of an epilator before, all it is, it's a, a cluster of rotating tweezer blades that sit at the top of this little device here and rotate really really quickly. So all the time they're plucking the hairs from your skin en masse. And if that sounds painful, it's because it is. And that's the first point that I would make. If you've got a low pain threshold, then this probably isn't the hair removal device for you. That said, I've been using mine for about 20 years now, and I can tell you that over time, this becomes significantly less painful as you get used to it. If you continue to use it, then the idea is the hairs become easier to remove as you go because the, they um, weaken at the root. Now, I use mine over the summer, and then I make the mistake of shaving in the winter so the hair regains its strength again. If I had been using this continuously over the last 20 years, I bet it'd be really easy to remove. So this Philips Beauty model that I've got here is as old as the hills. I bought it about 10 years ago and it's still on the go now. It shows you just what good value you can get out of these things. I've checked on Amazon and they don't sell this particular model anymore, but you can get a basic Philips epilator for about 35 pounds now. Looking across the different ranges, um, the bronze and so on, uh, epilators now stretch from about 30, 40 pounds right up to 250 pounds. And it would be really interesting to try a top of the range modern model like that, just to see how far they've come in recent years. Are they any less painful to use? Are they quicker to use? And so on. But basically, whatever model you use, you are still just dealing with this crop of tweezer heads that are pulling the hair out of your legs. So any price range is gonna do roughly the same job. If you want to have a look and see the different types of products that are out there, I've included a set of product links in the description of this video to some of the best selling models on Amazon. So let me show you how this works. As I say, mine is a really old model, so I have to use mine with the cord. If I take the cord out, it'll run down pretty quickly. But plugged in, this still goes at a good speed, and that's what you want. I have two speed settings, and probably any model you buy will have different speed settings. I would recommend you use an epilator on the highest speed. No joy can come from plucking the hairs out of your legs slowly. So you wanna get it over and done with as quickly as possible. So before I actually begin, I've got to say that the epilator does the most fantastic job of removing hair from your legs at even the shortest amount of growth. So just as the hair starts to come back into the legs, you can be using the epilator to whip it out, which means when you go on holiday, you can take this with you and you can uh, keep your legs hair free at all times. So I'm gonna show you how you use this now, switching it on to its highest speed level at two on my epilator. See how fast it goes. So I'm just gonna start running this up my leg to remove the hairs and you're gonna see really quickly how it just plucks the hairs out as I go. Now, with this sort of growth and on this area of the leg, that is really not painful at all because I've just got a few straggly hairs as you get into more serious growth, it's just a little bit nippy there. If you find this really, really painful at any point, so as I say, I've been doing this a long time now, it doesn't really bother me very much. If you do find this really painful, I would just push the epilator into your skin and that somehow with the pressure on your skin does mask the pain, pain very well. But you just, Keep it going. The beauty of this is it'll pluck out absolutely everything. So some of these hairs are really quite short and it's getting rid of them. So just after you've used the epilator, it does leave some red marks where the hair has been plucked out, but that goes within about 24 hours. And just remember to moisturize daily. You can use this on pretty much any part of your body, but I've got to say, 
Um, I've tried it under my arms and I just haven't got the guts to do it. I find it really, really painful. I've used it on the bikini a bit, um, on the top of my legs, on the softer skin, um, on the side of the legs. These areas are a little more painful and it goes back to what I said before about just doing small areas at a time and really pushing the epilator into the skin um, and holding the skin tight uh, and that really does help the pain. So with the hair now removed from my legs, I could probably expect that result to last for about a week, but it will be different with each person. However, ingrown hairs are a very real problem with epilator. It's also true of waxing, but somehow with the epilator, it seems to be more of a frequent problem, but you can avoid them. The key to it for me is to use something like a pumice stone, as soon as the hair starts to grow back so from the first hair that appears, I would start using the pumice stone every single day in the shower. So just um, getting your legs nice and soapy and running the pumice stone over it quite hard so you're taking away any layers of dead skin that the hair could get trapped under. And by doing that, I'm managing to avoid ingrown hairs. I've heard other people talking about using salicylic acid and just wiping that over the skin to again avoid um, dead skin from building up on the surface. Whatever you do though, make sure you're exfoliating regularly. So when you think that you can buy an epilator for just £35 or around the $50 mark and you tot up what you would have been spending over a few months on waxing, you can see how very quickly you can save money using this device. But to avoid the pitfalls of the ingrown hairs, then you need to get into a good routine if you're using this device. And I would recommend that you use it regularly. This has been another honest video. Check out the product links if you want to have a look at some of the models on the market at the moment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.